In 2021, a Chase bank teller in Florida recognized a customer from an email sent out from another branch to be on the lookout for her as a fraudster. This woman was trying to cash a $30,000 check into her supposed son's bank account. As always, the full police report is in the description, and I'll talk about the outcome of the case at the end of this video. Is she, that one? Yeah. Is she, is she here in a car? I don't know if she's here in the car, but she went to another branch, and then they called here and said that they were coming here. Okay. My, mar my manager, who's over Brevard and Volusia County, said that there's a warrant out for her arrest for a person named Clients from Brevard County. He sent me the detective's name, and he's working on her case. Okay. Right. So I don't know if she's in the car. I don't know exactly what she's doing, but that's her right there. I'm not sure. Okay. That's what I'm being told. I didn't interact with her, but right. we kind of all knew she was coming. Yeah. Hi. I missed that. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm fine. What, what's your name? I'm sorry? What's okay. your name? Christine what? Tyler. Christine Tyler. Okay. Siler. Do you have Siler? Mm -hmm. Do you have ID with you? Mm -hmm. She does. Yep. Can I? No can, from the Tyler line. Okay, cool. Thank you. For information, you might have a warrant out of Brevard County. Yeah. So, we're just going to confirm that real quick, and then we'll let you know, okay? okay. Yeah. Uh, what, brings you, what brings you in today? Transfer some money in Transfer money to your son. Okay. All right. Are you from Bavard County? No. Okay. All right. How, uh, how did you get here? I'm sorry? Did you drive here? No. Everyone's with a friend. Where's he at? He's out in the parking lot somewhere. What kind of car does he have? Um, it's a rental. It's a silver. Uh, I don't remember. Equinox, I think. Silver Equinox? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm going to go all the time. I don't have any, any info yet. So, other than they got a tip from um, another branch that she was headed here and that she may have a 49 out of Brevard. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Ma'am, do you have any form of identification other than your passport card? No. No? Okay. Do you have a driver's license? Let me say that I have a one. We're looking into that. Mm -hmm. I can't confirm or deny anything yet. Um, you don't have a driver's license? Have you ever been issued a driver's license? Not, yeah. Out of what state? Florida. Florida? Okay. Where is that? It's at my sister's. It's at your sister's. Okay. And what's your name? Christine. Last name? Siler. What is it? Siler. Siler? Okay. And your date of birth? Um, don't put me so nervous. I'm sorry? I was not expecting any of this to happen today. Okay. Are you okay? What's the matter? You got upset because I asked you your date of birth? Huh? She doesn't know her date of birth. Christine Seiler? Yeah, she has a... Yeah. Um, Here, hold on real quick. Do me a favor. Just stop. Stop. There, one second. Let me... Hey, this is you, Miss Siler? No. Well, you told me. All right, go ahead. I'm, I'm clear. Okay, listen to me, okay? Look at me. Can you look at me? All right, you have the right to remain silent. Do you, 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 you understand these rights? With these rights in mind, are you willing to talk to me? Is that your ID? Okay, is your ID in your purse? Huh? No? What's your name? Brenda? Spell it. How'd you get here today? My friend brought me. Who? My friend brought me. And where are they? They were out in the parking lot. And what kind of vehicle was it? It's, it's, um, okay. And what's their name? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. 
Sometimes um, I call him A. You call him A? Is he white male, black male? Huh? A black male. How do you know him? And they do it anyway. What's the arrangement today when he brought you here? Hmm? To get money? Did he provide you with that ID? Okay. Well, his, his friend did. There was another one in the, in the vehicle? Yeah, yeah he's not, no, he's not the one that provided his here. Okay. Do you have any more? Good. Fifty-four. We're in contact. You can come here. One, one second, Brenda. Okay. So, where do you live, Brenda? In Melbourne. In Melbourne. Okay. How, how'd you get up here? Okay. From Melbourne today. How many banks have you gone to today? Oh, just two. Just two? How much cash have you gotten today? None. None? None. What happened at the other two banks? Uh, none. Just didn't get anything. How many times have you done this for the guy A? Not much. What, I mean, is today the first day, or have you done this in the past, or what? I've done it a couple times. So what's your cut? If you get some cash, how much do you get? I'm not even sure. Huh? I'm not even sure. If they said it, it would be like 15, 20 percent. So how much do you typically withdraw at a time? So this check is made out for thirty grand. How much would that would you have gotten? Well, it depends on how many people were in on and given the information mm -hmm. to what I did. Okay. So in 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 times past, do you y'all go to a bank, he gives you an ID? Um, do you typically wear a wig or something like that if you have to? No, you've never had to wear a wig or a disguise or anything like that. You just wear the mask because of the COVID stuff? Okay. And so he'll give you an ID, and then he tells you, he gives you some banking information, and he tells you to go up to the clerk and make a withdrawal for however much he tells you to. Okay. And then, so you'll, you'll make a withdrawal, you'll get back in the car, and then you'll give him the cash, and then he'll give you a cut? Okay. And, and how did you meet up with him? Um, just to a, a, actually a mutual friend. A mutual friend, okay. And how long have you been doing this? Not long at all. No? Okay. Let me ask you some personal questions, okay? Do you have a drug problem? Do you use pills? What do you use? Yeah. Is it in your purse? There is some in your purse? Okay, is there any on your person? No, no. There's nothing in your bra or your underwear or anything like that? Okay, so you do this to support your habit. Okay. So you, you, so he gave you that ID today, knowing that that's not you. You came up here to this bank to withdraw cash out of someone's account, knowing it wasn't your account, correct? Okay. And y'all text each other? Do y'all text by phone or anything like that? How do y'all communicate? We text or call. Okay. It says number in your phone. How many people do you communicate with when you when you do this type of stuff? Two? A and what's the other guy? Cheese. Cheese? Is he also a black male? Do you know where they're from? They're from New York. Okay. Do you, you don't know their real names or anything like that? No. Does that make you nervous? It does. I was actually, I swear to God, believe it or not, I was going to stop this weekend. So worried that this was going to happen. But. But you, you, you do this because you got to support your habit, right? No, it's not because i got to support my habit, because I want to help my kids, basically. You want to help your kids? That's the biggest thing. I'm How many kids you got? Four. You got four well, kids? I have three. I have my daughter. Was, my daughter passed away three years ago. Okay. Do you have custody of your kids? They're all they're in their 20s. Oh, they're all in their 20s. Okay, so are you still having to support them? No, no, no. I said help them. Oh, to help them. Yeah. What, just I financially? I can as a mom. They live down there in, in Melbourne? Mm -hmm. They know you do this? No? You ever been arrested before? What have you been arrested for? Driving. Just driving? And just traffic driving stuff? Driving and, and a drug charge. A drug charge? Year. Are you out on bond or anything like that? Um, You're out on bond? What are you out on bond for? Um, I actually am in the middle. I'm almost done with a drug case. A drug, charge, a drug case. A drug, okay. a, a drug case? case. So it, it's not finalized yet? No. Are you waiting on sentencing or something like that? You hoping it was going to get thrown out? Okay.
This happened in April 2021 and led to a larger investigation into organized fraud. Charges were updated in April 2022 and she was rearrested for attempted organized scheme to defraud a class 3 felony in Florida. That case is still ongoing and will likely last a while, but the drug case she just mentioned went to jury trial in January 2022 where she was found guilty of possession of fentanyl and sentenced to 268 days in jail with credited time served, so she ended up spending no time in jail.